the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 1. The vision concerning Judah and Jerusalem that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, listen, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I hear children and brought them up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows his master, the donkey his owner's manger. But Israel does not know. My people do not understand. A ah, sinful nation, a people loaded with guilt, a brood of evil doors, children given to corruption. They have forsaken the Lord. They have splintered the Holy One of Israel and turned their backs on Him. Why should you be beaten anymore? Why do you persist in rebellion? Your whole heart is injured, your whole heart is afflicted. From the sole of your foot to the top of your head, there is no soundness, only wounds and welts, and open sores, not cleansed or bandaged or soaked with oil. Your country is desolated, your cities burn with fire, your fields are being stripped by foreigners right before you, laid waste as when overthrown by strangers. The daughter of Zion is left like a shelter in a manor, like a hunt in the field of melons, like a city under siege. Unless the Lord Almighty had left us some survivors, we would have become like this. Sodom, we would have been like Gomorrah. Hear the word of Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the law of God. You people of Kamura, the multitude of the multitude of your sacrifices. What are they to me? Says the Lord. I have more than enough of burnt offerings, of rams and fat of fattened animals. I have no pleasure in the bread of bulls, lambs and goats. When you come to appear before me, who asked you this? This tramping of my goats. Stop bringing meaningless offerings. Your incense is detestable to me. New moons, Sabbaths, and convocations. I cannot bear your evil assemblies, your new moon festivals, and your appointed feasts. Feasts my soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands in prayer, I will hide my eyes from you. Even if you offer many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash and make yourself clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Encourage the oppressed. Defend the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are as red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. See how, how the faithful city has become a harlot. She was once full of justice, righteousness, used to dwell in her, but now murderers. Your silver has become rose, your choice white is diluted with water. Your rulers are rebels, companions of thieves. They all love bribes and chase after gifts. They do not defend the cause of the fatherless. The widow's case does not come before them. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord Almighty, the mighty one of Israel declares, Ah, I will relieve from my foes and avenge myself on my enemies. I will turn my head against you. I will thoroughly purge away your truce and remove all your impurities. I will restore your judges as in old days of old, your counselors as at the beginning. Afterwards, you will be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion will be redeemed with justice, her penitent ones with righteousness, but rebels and sinners will both be broken, and those who forsake the Lord will perish. You will be ashamed because of the sacred oaks in which you have 
delighted. You will be disgraced because of the gardens that you have chosen. You will be like an oak with fading leaves, like a garden without water. The mighty man will come, tinder, and his work a spark. Both will burn together with no one to quench the fire. Chapter 2 This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Joshua. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord, Lord's temple, will be established as chief among the mountains. It will be raised above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many people. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Come, O house of Jacob, let us walk in the light of the Lord. You have abundant your people, the house of Jacob. They are full of superstitions from the east. They practice their mission like Philistines that clasp hands with paddles. Their hand is full of silver and gold. There is no end to their treasure. Their land is full of horses. There is no end to their chariots. Their land is full of idols. They go down to work of their hands, to what their fingers have made. So man will be brought low and mankind humbled. Do not forgive them. Go into the rocks, hide in the ground, from the dread of the Lord and the splendor of his majesty. The eyes of the arrogant man will be humbled, and the pride of men brought low. The Lord alone will be exalted in that day. The Lord Almighty has a day in store for all, for all the proud and lofty, for all that is exalted, and, and they will be humbled. For all the cedars of Lebanon, tall and lofty, and all ox of passion, for all towering mountains, and all the high hills, for every lofty tower, and every buffeted wall, every fortified wall, for every trading ship, and every stately vessel, the arrogance of man will be brought low, and the pride of men humbled. The Lord alone will be exalted in that day, the idols will totally disappear, men will flee to caves in the rocks and to holes in the ground from the bread of the Lord, the splendor of his majesty, when he has rise to shake the earth. In the day, men will throw away to rodents and bats the idols of silver and idols of gold, which they made to worship. They will flee to caverns in the rocks and to the overhanging crags from the bread of the Lord and the splendor of his majesty when he rises to shake the earth. Stop trusting in man who has, who has but a breath in his nostril. Of what account is he? The share of the world. Signing a Lehovia Kartava, Erishalem in Lenum, Ekudi in Lenum, Atharam, Asreum, Akam in the Atharam Akayam, Velam in the Atharam Akayam, Veed and Yodava, Nyayadipati, Pravajagan, Prashna Karan, Mutan, Andhadurga, Adipati, Man.